I got Steve now. I'm happy now. He can. He, yeah, I got Steve now. He's just as good as well. Come on. Yeah. No, no. He's leader. He's leader. I'm not leader. You know, you're the matchmaker. You know every single person here. You just, you've been doing this for what, 30, 40, years, whatever, 30 years. Good evening, welcome to VIP Boxing's latest return to the Grand Central Hall in Liverpool. Tonight we've got we've got six top class fights for you fr from this uh, the arena. I think they know in Liverpool, known as the Dome. Our first fight will be with you in a few minutes. There'll be a, a four rounder between Bazzi Razak and Nathan Darby. How are you, Sam? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. See you. Yeah. It was just, it feels like it's gone so quick, it's over, man. It's mad. It's, I wish I would have enjoyed it more, but I'm glad I'm still around boxing now. I'm glad I'm still Big, it's not as big as it is now, so you're watching like, just getting off, but now 
My face, I got my face stoppage in there. Like, I should never, the kid I box, I should never box him to me. I was too good for him. But they didn't have um, roots, really. They just had open categories. So they've had more than 15. You can fight anyone. And they are, there's more kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're all nice to it. Where's the Olympics this year? Paris, wow. Are you guys be able to get over there? You might be able to get over there.
And there we go, Nathan Darby um, in, in the ring there now. Um, Nathan Darby having his full professional fight tonight. A fight he only took at, um, I think it was just over 24 hours notice. 10 to 1 yesterday when this fight was added to the bill. Sam, wow. Did you ever take a fight that short notice? I don't think I have, no. But uh, I would have. I would have, yeah. I'm, I was always game. We know that. We know <laughs> that. I won't remind anyone, you're one of the few that got in with Lomachenko twice. Yeah. You know what happened five years ago today? I got that knockout of that, that French. Was it? Yeah, the five w years ago today. WBO European yeah. Super. Gone like that five years today it was. Because my claim to fame forever that. <laughs> And if you're not, and if you're not familiar with that knockout against um, Sabri Sideri, uh, just go on to YouTube. You must be one. Anyone who hasn't seen it must be the very, very few have not. But anyway, you're now happily retired, Sam. Yes. I, I yeah. hope it's happily retired. It is. I'm getting getting a bit of belly on me, so I'd see how happy I last. But um, I've got to get back training. Yeah. Here we go. Four three-minute rounds of Bazi Razak in the black and gold shorts against Nathan Darby in the black and white shorts. So a fight only put together yesterday. Um, there's a ten to one. Bazi Razak got added to the build. He needs to get a win before he fights for the Commonwealth Silver welterweight title against Constantine Ozu on April 27. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of boxers when they retire, they um, they're watching shows like this and they get the itchy knuckles. They want to get back in it, but I'm not. I'm just happily, yeah, watch. I'm happy for them to take the punishment, not me. Come on, come on, Satan. Before we look up, oh, sorry. put put our eyes on this fight. Um, you're now coaching at the Solly. Yeah, um, coaching at the Solly um, with the amateur team. Yeah, really enjoying it. What would it be like for Zach knowing so much is at stake tonight that if it goes wrong, uh, it costs him a, a major title fight? Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but um, you've got to learn to deal with that. And then um, we'll see how it gets on tonight. But I, I know there'll be a lot of pressure on him um, to look good. And sometimes that forced kind of forced myself to look good, feel good. Is it doesn't work, but we'll see how it gets on. Nathan Darby having his full fight tonight. Yeah, he looks nice and tidy as well. He's not making too many mistakes. He's just nice guard, moving his feet well. So um, it's going to take something for Bazzi to, to unlock him. In, in those uh, three defeats he's had, he, he was stopped by Luke Bibby in Scotland. Who, uh, Luke, Luke's a, a very, very good kid, I think. We're going to be seeing a lot of in the future. Some of you are familiar from the amateurs, Luke Bibby? No, I, I, the name rings a bell, but I can't picture him. I bet you I know, I, you know what, I know his face. I bet you I know his face. I'm, I'm getting punchy. Wait till you're travelling around the country, around Britain, with all those so seniors, juniors from Sully. Yeah. You'll be commentating 10 years' time and reminisce about seeing a schoolboy yeah, that's boxer that'd be turn mad. pro. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that'd be crazy. It's tough against opponents like this. Like um, Nathan just 
keeping it simple. He's not really attacking much. He's on the back foot, so it's like it's hard to break them down. But he's, he's trying, Raz. He's trying to land the bigger shots. Yeah, he's boxing behind the jab, isn't he, Raz? Yeah. Like, moving behind the jab, moving in nice, but trying to load, uh, trying to unload like a, a, the bigger shots as well. But it's just hard at the moment. It's only the first round, though. Power is definitely in his in his advantage is his, his advantage though. Is he's the, the harder hitter, faster hitter. Yeah, good round, good round for him. Good round for Razak. Yeah. You can carry on talking. Of course, it's the first show since Josh Warrington joined VIP Boxing's board of directors, um, joined in the ballroom by um, new shareholders, an entrepreneur from London, interesting guy, Suresh Sivaganamam, and, and, and Shan Selvadran, who's the owner and CEO of uh, Morley's Chicken. It's a fast food brand in London. Your eyes lit up there when I mentioned chicken, <laughs> Sam. So next time you're in London, you'll be heading to Morley's, I take it. <laughs> Shane was at a show in Bolton the other week, so he's going to have to give you a code for some free chicken. Oh, definitely. Sees you next. That's got to be one of the pegs. Yeah, they brought in some really good investment. Going to help VIP move, VIP boxing move to the next level. We we all hope. You see, Josh Warrington's on the board of directors, but of course, Steve Wood's still at the, the helm where he's been for 27, 29 years about, or something like that. Can you imagine yourself promoting boxing for 29 years? Unreal. Real achievement. Start with round two, a mirror of the first round, Sam. Yeah, just Raza coming forward, throwing nice shots, putting his jabs together. But um, I'm liking this Nathan. He's, he's held. He's holds himself nice. He's a good opponent. He, um, he's got a good shape about him. But just, just not much in return, to be honest. But he's, he's other than that, he's, he's, <laughs> he's doing well. <laughs> is he, is he, you've watched him. Only been watching for four minutes of him. He, he just looks like he's going to be a really good road man, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's got a nice guard, nice feet, good, good shape to him. And uh, he don't look like he carries that much power, though. I think maybe I think Junior Witter, who manages him, not with him this evening, he's and was showing you. It was me. His aim is to box for two or three years and get enough out of boxing to buy a restaurant. Wow. And this is this achievable. If he's if he. The, how much? The, how many times they box? I was saying, um, Sergio Bomber was on this card. My debut, he, he boxed, and uh, he had ten fights. I think he'd won about eight of them at the time. He wasn't a journeyman, and uh, but now he's had seventy-three. Did you see Sergio earlier walking around? Always got a smile on yeah. his face. He's a tough-looking man, though. Oh, he, <laughs> he takes that top off. He, he's a serious he, dude, he's isn't he? Machine. Lovely jobs. That's nice. Your early impressions of Razak, obviously he's a bit heavier than what he normally would be this evening, but your impressions of him? Yeah, I like the look of him. He's got a good shape. He's got a really nice jab, but he's got good power. I think, um, yeah, as the rounds go on, you'll see him land that more. He's missing it a few times with a right hand, but I think, yeah, he's just fine. He's getting the sharpness. Yeah, looking to bounce back after a defeat in his last fight. Stopped in the 10th round by Callum Blockley. He's a good operator. Well, yeah, again, I'm impressed with uh, Nathan. Yeah, I'm a really good opponent. Did you fight a lot of these journeymen in the early stages? What's it like to face these guys who are 
okay, carbon copies of Nathan, should we say? I, I, I maybe fought too many, especially coming from the amateurs. I was elite level, so I fought maybe too many. But yeah, it's hard to get yourself up too much, and then um, you don't really have respect as much respect for them as you should have either. So I, I used to just think I'm gonna go and knock this person out, and then um, yeah, sometimes you, you come unstuck with that kind of mentality, which I nearly did against that, that French kid because he was a last minute replacement and I thought he was just a genuine I saw in my head I was like I'm gonna knock him out first round easy and um, nearly paid the price what was your thoughts all you uh, incredible amateur career WSB the Lomachenko fights in that competition all you achieve but everyone talks about that fight don't they it just yeah. went viral in the but the next morning it be like a million views or something <laughs> you know me getting filled in and forget about all the greatness I did in, in my career. Just gonna be getting filled in and getting the last gasp knockout. But uh, yeah, uh, it's it inspires. It, it, it's in, it's a good story. Like keep keep at it, stick in, don't give up, and you, you can you can reap the rewards. And uh, so I guess that's why it's stuck with a lot of people, and it will in the future. At the time, I didn't really think it was a big deal, but now looking back, I'm like I'm, I'm proud of it. You should be proud of your whole career. Nice one, Steve. Great career, amateur and professional. Those WSB nights, another level. Yeah, you were, com you were commentator then, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, brilliant, they were. We had Usic v Joyce, me v Lomachenko. Same bill at York Hall. Yeah, how good is that? And um, I boxed in Ukraine, and it, the crowd was quiet, but it was all Ukraine, obviously. But I thought, when I come to England, it's going to be an English crowd, and it wasn't. It was um, all Ukraine. more Ukrainians <laughs> than in <laughs> Ukraine. Full of Ukrainians in York Hall <laughs> that night. Yeah, Razak very comfortable. Nathan doing his job. Is he an English lad, Nathan? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good, good well school boxer he is. I'm not sure of his amateur background. He uh, uh, I make matches now. I just got a message from Junior Witter a few months ago that this guy was turning over. Anything from 10 8 to 11 stone, he was available. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. He didn't take many shots, he's here. He'll have a good, have a good career. Nice crowd in here tonight, isn't there? It's great when you this. Filling up well, and a lot of the crowd here, I think, to see Brian Collins sold. I think he sold 130 tickets. Oh, yeah, brilliant. I'm looking forward to his fight as well. But like, this, is, this is like our York Hall, this, this place. Yeah, the same kind of the feel to it, with the crowd above you. There was an amateur show here this afternoon. I don't know if you heard anybody. No. Yeah, apparently, it was an amateur show. Shot that lay back back hand. Look like he, Brazzy was letting Nathan come forward onto him there. See if he can catch him with a counter. Referee Steve Gray just uh putting his score for round three into his notepad. I should think all three rounds to Bazzi Razak, and he's on his way to a 40-36 win, but we're coming up at the final round now, and um, Steve will bring them to the middle and order them to touch gloves. One of my favorite referees, in Steve Gray. Yeah. Do you, do, do you do a lot of your fights? A few fights, yeah. Yeah, a few of them. He did that one with a French kid. <laughs> That's why I like him. He get because the kid the kid hit me on the ground, and Steve gave me about 30 seconds to recover because he's shouting at the kid. So uh, I thank him for that. <laughs> Making this about me, it's like the Sam show today. <laughs> okay, round four. Let's see if he picks it up anymore. Oh, lovely shot. 
set that up nice with a feint to the body. Briefly tried to come forward for a little bit there, but soon circled in the ring yet again. Big Commonwealth silver fight coming up next month. I shouldn't think Bazzi could have had it any easier tonight, could he? Comfortable all from the off. Yeah, this is the kind of fight you would want. He's got a few, tried a few things out. He's, um, he's never been in trouble, and uh, he's got to, yeah, got a bit of sharpness, got a bit of ring rust off, and uh, get back to winning ways. Perfect fight. <laughs> Feel like he does unleash and unload a few times in the fight, but um, he's boxing live within himself. He's just trying new things. Yeah. I think you can see. So he's getting working his jab a lot this fight and taking no taking no chances. Has that's he? it. That's it. Good fight. His corner look happy with him. He's happy. He's come out unscathed and all yeah. on to Constantinos, who um, I'm sure will provide a, a lot sterner opposition. That's on a show in Brentwood if um, April 27th. Nathan Darby happy, got through unscathed, earned his money and go home in one piece. Cash and dash as the journeyman <laughs> call it. <laughs> Cash and dash, I like that. Hey, I was in the wrong game. I should have just turned over the journeyman, you know. No. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be messing around tonight. I think um, Stephen Reeve will shortly be calling Connor Goulding and Serge Ambomo to the ring. Looking forward to this one. Serge was boxed here a few weeks ago, caused an upset against Ryan Dickens, a former amateur star. Yeah, I was he here was, for that. He was in the mood that night, Serge, wasn't he? Yeah, and uh, you just, like, with people like Serge, the fighters like him, you've got to be on it. On, on, or, you, or you're going to come unstuck, and that's proved to be the, be the case. Well, 
But yeah, I, on my debut, he had, I think he had 10, 1, 8, lost two. Like he wasn't a journeyman then, he was a fighter straight from, he stayed over from the Olympics, didn't he? Yep, yeah. the cop, cop, cam, the cam, I think Cameroon. Three of them, the Cameroon team, I think they absconded. Um, <laughs> Olympians level, that's the level that these are at. Yeah. Thomas Asomba and... Asomba, was he? Was I, it? I think Asomba may have been one of them. Wow. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, um, check it up. I've got a feeling that Asomba was one of them. Wow, that's brilliant, that. He's, he's a good fighter, him. up in the corners I think and of course your brother's involved here tonight Cheem is the ring whip isn't he yeah he's loving it he loves it he's been done it for about well a few years now and he's really enjoys it big guy in here my brother yeah he's a really nice guy though lovely fella gentle giant isn't he yeah is Connor Goulding five and zero first six rounder tonight and Despite, you know, Serge's 12-58-3 record, it's still a step up. He's talking to Connor earlier, he knows, that he, he echo what you were saying, you cannot switch off for a moment against Serge and Boma. Nope. If, he, if, he, if you switch off and he, he notices it, he, he's going to go for the win. I think the other week, the Ryan Dickens, so you, might, you may disagree, you know. Um, I thought he saw Ryan felt a bit sorry for himself and was all over him. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It was a shame, but um, hopefully Ryan comes back, learns from that, and comes back. And, um, Still a baby, Ryan. Dickens. Exactly. Yeah. for Connor, knowing that Serge is, his last fight got a win over Ryan that adds to the nerves yeah. then as well you know you have to be on it you, I don't know if you were speaking to him before and he was saying everything you were saying yeah. it's the sort of fight he's, he's up for Brilliant. I think his plan is just to keep it long and That's what he's not just get silly lad, isn't it? just keep it long move your feet he was, he's about 11-3 today uh, Serge 11-4 This is simple stuff like this, isn't it? Boxing really nice, stuff. good start. Serge must have been in the home dressing room you were those back in those days, or was he still, uh, an away fighter then? Do you remember? I, he was still an away fighter because he was fighting uh, JJ Metcalf. Oh, yeah, <laughs> great fight. Two absolute monsters in the <laughs> ring they were. But yeah, JJ was just a, just a lot better. Like Serge was still like, I know he comes to win, but he was really coming to win that night and then yeah, it was a great fight to watch. But um, Connor's boxing really well here. Yeah. yeah. This this how you need to beat him. This is how you beat him. Keep it long. And yeah. Don't try and make a match or match. Just pop, box and move, punch and move, pop and move. Take his confidence out of him. Easy. Look at that. 
obviously you're you're you know deeply entrenched in, in the Liverpool boxing scene. Do you know Conor well? You no, don't him? know him well. No, I've I've, um, I've, been, I've trained trained alongside him once in um, in his, his his other gym, but yeah, I'm not don't really know him that well. But I know his coach Lee in his corner, Lee Molyneux, and I know him. He's a good guy, and I know he's a good coach. That's the thing with him, says and watching here. Um, Connor was doing lovely jabs and moving, but you've got to be aware of that overhand right all the time. Just talking about that art, yeah. You, you know it's going to come at some stage, don't you? Needs to get back, just bot doing what he was doing, what he's doing right now. It's just you've got to keep it up the whole round. Easier said than done, yeah, isn't it? Definitely, like yeah, it's very tiring. That was a nice round from the gym, took a few. Stuck to the game plan, what was that round? First round then to Connor Goulding. Yeah. Well, Serge did, did serve notice of what can come. Just, yeah, just let you know you need to be you need to be switched on. You need to keep thinking. Because if he could, if he them big shots, we see, I seen him land about two or three. I was like, yeah, I wouldn't want to take them myself. He wouldn't want to take one of your shots either. <laughs> he, he was about 11 foot, would he? So. learn so much from a fight like this especially because sometimes when you're fighting Jamie you just you're just blowing him out a day you're knocking him out whereas the a bomb, you're not gonna have that kind of effect on him you're gonna have to have a good performance a good boxing performance you can't just outman him out tough him because yeah, he's a tough man you touched it in the first round how tiring is it with you knowing mentally knowing you can't switch off for the a single second of yeah, those three minutes knowing that it, 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 they're trying to break your heart because you're hitting them with all kinds and they're still coming, they're still coming, they're still in your face. And it's off, it's very disheartening. You're throwing good shots and they're still coming. It's, it's, it's so tiring and uh, disheartening, but you just got to keep at it. Which he's doing well. He is. Not getting involved inside, tying them up. As soon as it breaks, move on your feet, chap. Any of your pals from the Solly here tonight? They all various championships today, up and down the country. The, yeah, no one's here tonight, but um, I've got an next boxer, Nathan Corliss. He's a solid lad. Easy, he's, he's making a making a comeback after his, his last fight. Comeback, it's not a comeback. That's, well, not, that's not the, that's the wrong word. He's turning after a setback. That's the way. That's what I'm looking for. That's why you're the pro. So. So it's great, trying a bit, bit of confidence there, landed with a left hand. He's a, he, he don't throw much, but when he throws, it always makes me grimace a bit. It's a bit I've worrying. noticed that after a minute this round, um, Connor landed with two or three jabs, you know, just pouring them out. Serge landed with one, and you could tell he felt it a bit.
How you doing? Just move your feet on the it. Man, get out of there. Close to round that, wasn't it? It was, especially in the, the last last half. Started off nice, he needs to get back to that. Just box and move, jab and move. It's just disheartening because you want to land the big shots on people to that's how you figure what you feel you need to do. But against Serge, you just gotta move, jab and move, stick to the basics. Stands up in the corner as well. That'll be that yeah. exciting as well. <laughs> I've noticed before he does that. He's never, we've got a screen just in front of me here. Yeah, and he, I've seen he, he did that the other week here when he uh, when he won on points. Yeah. You look at him. You're feeling a bit tired. You look at him. He's standing up here. Psychological. Lee Molyneux and John Smith on the on who's standing outside both. Uh, Seem to be reading kind of the right act there, but we got a little bit involved there in the second half of that round. Seen his coach time look for yeah, the double, double jab I can. Didn't look too bad. It was obviously no. low, but he's obviously it seems to be feeling it. Mm. Surge growing into the fight, isn't it? That's what he does, isn't it? You're in for a tough six rounds. This is the third round. People in the crowd, you can hear him ur urge, urging Connor to get out. And get on your toes. This is better, but then just in your head, you're like. I hope Serge it's don't wing a thing. It's a bit better than suddenly Serge steps in and lands, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. Serge is a late opponent. If, um, yeah, I think two opponents have dropped out. First, he had George Rogers. George has, uh, has got an eye injury, couldn't couldn't step in, and then the, the next opponent dropped out on him. Happens, that does. Happens all the time. And then it gets harder as, as each one drops out because the, the, one, the ones who were going to take it last minute are the, the, top, the top lads. Surge really starting to fancy this yeah. now, isn't he? Warming up into it. In a little bit of trouble there at the end of that round, isn't it? Yeah, again, same as the second round, to be honest. And um, he took a lot of energy at Connor to, to match him there as well. He did, didn't didn't need to use it, so it's playing into a bomber's hand a little bit at the end of each round there. Three rounds in, um, Serge might be the happiest man at the moment. Yeah, because um, he's fighting. It's, it's going his way. Like he's 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 cutting Connor a little bit, getting to getting Connor to trade with him.
same again from his corner they're telling him like what well, the end of the second important three minutes coming up here for Connor needs to uh, assert himself on the fight once more yeah like this yeah he always starts the round well, but he's got caught over the top there. A right hand he felt, yeah. Mm. And then that's making him hold his feet more, which is going to take him, help him take more. Get back, to, get back to range, he needs to get back to range. He's a long lad, he's a tall lad. He's everything he was talking about, what he had to do before the fight, seems to have gone out the window. I, I guess that's so hard when someone like Serge is in there. The Definitely. opponent, strong, dangerous. He keeps coming. He keeps coming. Shots. Yeah. He laugh brings out a bit of your macho. You think I want to? I want to show him that I'm hard as well. And it just plays into his hands. This is better. It's just. Pit oh. It's like I was going to say. It's just pit pattering, but yeah. it's nice. But then, you, it's always like this is going to come. This kind of unleash. Yeah. This unloading from a bombo. And those right hands are stiffening his big legs shots, as well. Big shots. To the body there as well. Having to show a lot of heart there, isn't he, Connor? To yeah, it's going to just tough, tough, tough start to this round. Don't want to be taking too many there. Got another two rounds of this. That'll be in his head as well. And we know Obomo can do this. You can tell Obomo's confidence just growing and growing. He doesn't win many, but you feel he's, he, he can smell another win. And I think once you give him that little sniff of it, he, he, is, he, is, he wants it then. You've got to take that off him straight away. Yeah, 35 days ago he came here and upset Ryan Dickens. Two points defeats then against CJ Challenger and Paul Kane. And, uh, Two good opponents there though as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 14 and 1 CJ Challenger, 17 and 3 Paul Kane. That's the the level he can operate at. I think this will be the first round of Gates or Bombo. Definitely. Like, I've got, I've got, I think I've got a bow moment. Two, you, one, one now. Okay. You've got it. Three, one, two. Yeah, I'm being going leaning towards Connor because I was, I was starting the rounds with a bomb was finishing the round stronger, but uh, that was the first one I gave definitely to a bomb. But it's the same as Ryan. Ryan did this. Ryan started really well the first two, and then the bomb just kept each round kept growing, and that seemed what he's doing tonight. Yeah, second round. Sorry, second round. Yeah, two, two. I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. I want it level. Yeah. 3-1 two rounds coming up here and they could be two rounds that turn Connor into a good fighter if he comes through these wins this fight Definitely. come on stick to the plan it's simple it's not easy but it's simple So he always comes out nice the first, the first minute of the round. He's got to keep this for the full better. round. A lot better start this round. Yeah. Very good. Yeah.
called on the inside there. A big shot there. He felt it as well, you could see it. He's just using a lot of energy, trying to trying to hold on to a bomb on. He should just get out of there. It's easier said than done. Though. It's like <laughs> looking up from real like, just move, just get out of there. And the referee David Mulholland bringing them both, giving the word with both of them. Yeah, I've got a feeling. Oh, here we go. That's it. He's got a bit of fight in him. He has. He's not. He's not um, you certainly won't question Connor's heart, will you? No. He's not feeling sorry for himself. He is in. And that's what you can't do against. Uh, no. As soon as he, he'll smell that. Yeah, he's waiting for that. Nice. Nice. When he got caught by the shot by on Bumba, then he just got back to doing what he had to do. Yeah. You land some good shots against someone, and they, they're likely gonna back off. Where Bomber, just, he seems to come more forward when you land good shots against him. It's disar so disheartening. Really good round this for Connor Gordon. Yeah. Come, on, that's it. Apart from the first round, Connor's best round of the fight. Yeah. And he needed it. He's, he's letting the ball now. A ball no now. Like he's, he's, yeah. He wants this. He's coming for it. That was the make up. Like you said, though, that was the make up break. If he would have shown a ball any any weakness there, a ball would have gone for it there. And this last round would be a nightmare. But um, he's never. He stood and fought when he had to, and he got back to moving and boxing when he had to. Last round. Now. David Moore Holland, a solid boxer as well, he was. Yeah, he had a couple. Yeah. Did, he have, did he have a lot of amateur fights? I think, he won the, I think he won the, did he win the ABAs. Was, was, he, was his brother also at the Solly? Yeah. Yeah. I knew. right hand you have to watch for just get back to keeping it long surge always comes out at that final round every single fight the right hand he comes swinging with loop that one right around and you know he's just if you're on that tight guard he's the look to throw that again you can feel it coming can't you? you can see it coming yeah it's always that tight guard before it comes as well. Yeah. Explodes out of there. I'm liking Connor here. He's, um, he's, not, he's not getting bullied. He's, he's standing there trying to hold his own and trying to get his respect off him, a bomb on, yeah. which is key. It's been a decent six rounder, isn't it? Brilliant, yeah. You'll learn a lot from this. Needs to stay out of the range in this fight. We're coming to the final minute. Needs to stay out of the range. Yeah. Like we can see it from here, like, doesn't move. That's it, you've done enough. 
So what's coming out is your enthusiasm for the sport sitting next to you. <laughs> You're almost willing him on, aren't you? <laughs> Twitching, yeah, I'm taking the shots with him. One thing, you Liverpool fighters all stick together, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Really has to dig deep, Connor, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Showing a lot, though. Yeah, showing a lot here today. I'm proud of him. Top six rounds. This final few seconds coming up. Final 15 seconds. As soon as a bomber heard that bell, yeah. <laughs> swings about 10. He's a bit scared to mix it, though, Connor, has he? No, he's, he's mixed it with him. Brilliant, man. Excellent yeah, sixth round of the crowd in the balcony above us. You might not be able to see. They're all standing up, clapping. What was a excellent six rounder? Great, great play, that. Connor's done enough, has he? I think so. Yeah. yeah. It is through his mind though, like because a bomber got a result here, he'd be thinking, Have I done enough? Have I done enough? We'll go see now, we'll see what they thought. The ref thought. Any moment now, we'll be going over to our MC Stephen Reed. David Mulholland stood a trialist referee to someone scoring from the outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure he was a trialist a couple of weeks ago anyway. Oh wow. You did have it that, that kind of way, but I thought Connor just did enough. I didn't like close I thought Connor did enough. Yeah, same. Not too many complaints from the. No. I think it, the only way we could see that is like a, um, Connor's work was maybe lighter and a bomb would land at a more land telling shot. shot yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a shame. We come here, being all my other locals, lads. Go home, you. <laughs> uh. But again, I think Connor will learn a lot from that. Um, that's a shame he didn't get a result, but he'll learn a lot from that. Last time Serge Mbomo won, he had a fight cancelled on him the following week. I wonder if the same thing's going to happen again to him. Anyway, uh, next up, Brian Collins against Joe Hardy. Brian after redemption after losing his unbeaten record against Dimitri Prokunas in Blackpool. They were due to a boxer rematch. They were due to box a rematch here tonight, um, but a couple of weeks ago, Prokunas had to pull out. Um, his wife's um, about to give birth and having a difficult pregnancy, so uh, he'll be back for the rematch hopefully in June if all goes well for... Brian Collins tonight. Looks like he's brought a crowd here tonight. Yeah, it's sold about six and a half thousand pounds of a ticket. Wow. It's always good, it's always good. So if you're known as a ticket seller, you've got a chance to get on these yeah. bigger shows then as well.
Derry Matthews in the corner there with um, Brian Collins, uh, another old Solly boy. Yeah. We're everywhere. Yeah, I trained with Derry for about five years, my four or five years of my pro career. Good coach, nice lad. I never like seeing people get booed. Some fighters, it fires them up, doesn't it? Brian telling me beforehand is the best he's ever been at his camp and how he feels. I guess he may have been echoing the same to you if you were speaking. Yeah, spokesman at the corner over there, he's, he's said he, this is the best he's ever felt. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of performance he can put in here. Got a great crowd behind him. See if he puts on a show. Both of them are nice shots there. Ooh. When you've had a loss, you must, you must be so determined to put that behind you as soon as you come back, don't you? Because you've lived with that for months, even longer, don't, haven't you? Yeah. And you, you make sure you put it all in the gym, do make any changes you need to make, and then you want to go and show that you've made the changes and made the, you're a different fighter now. You've learned from it. Eager to impress. You see it a lot more in this day and age. Um, people with losses on their records and still getting right to the top. It used to be like undefeated yeah. only. It's only been the last two or three years where people the, 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 the defeat hasn't been the end of the world. No, it's like everyone said it was the Mayweather effect. The Mayweather brought that to boxing, and then now it, now that's passing. It's getting to better fights. Nice shots from uh, Collins there. Good start from Collins, uh, aggression, but contained aggression. Yeah. And Joel looks like he's just defending, defending. He looks to load a big, big wing in one end, but um, Collins isn't falling for it. Just, did uh, you, did you, see, have you ma managed to see um, Brian's fight with Proc Kunis? No. It was one of those really bad nights where everything went wrong. Oh. It just wasn't right. Yeah. Was he? Is he um, a fighter, or is he? Um, was he, What was his record like? He's a, journey, he's, one, he's, he, a, he's a journeyman, but one who always comes to try yeah. a lot better than what his record suggests. Yeah. Nice combination there, nice straight shots down the middle. So they're going to get a rematch. Yeah, it was, it was, it was due to be tonight, but hopefully it'll be in June now. He just won those fights every time where Brian was called. He just seemed to feel it. He just was not there at the races yeah. at all. Hey, and the, the right man won on the right. There's no excuses. The bet. The man who deserved to get the decision got it, and that was Dimitri Prokunas. Yeah. See, Joe is swinging the bits of the bombs, and you want to get it with one of them, but you can see them coming, but so you don't want to get it with them. So uh, Collins is doing well to, to avoid them and get his own off.
like Serge Mbomo, Joe Hardy standing in the, the corner as well. We do it when we spar. We, it's mad like that way we sit down in the corner because when we spar, we just stand up and um, you feel fine. It's crazy, you know. I reckon in, obviously at the, the longer fights you, you need a chair to, to recover properly, but standing up I don't see the problem. <laughs> that looks weird though, it's like, it looks like they're just having a chat, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's weird. <laughs> I mean, when you're in the corner, it looks like you're getting, a, you're getting directions, you're getting yeah. advice, but like that just looked like a little... Yeah. I remember, combo. I remember last year I, I, I made a show in Nottingham for the promoter Scott Kahlo. I matched Joe against Ryan Amos and uh, it was about six weeks before Christmas. Joe had four, week, four, four weeks of constant fights booked and he was stopped with 20 seconds to go. And it was one of the worst stoppages uh, you'll ever be see. Frustrating. And he came in that dressing room fuming. They are trading lever. Yeah, you can tell he can dig as well, Joe, but he got caught with about three or four big shots there. Took them well, stuck his tongue out, and then, yeah, get right back to it. To land your right sometimes against the south pole because it's yeah. so so much longer further away. Already see how much better Brian's defence is tonight than it was in the put Kunas fight. Okay. I like his shape. His shape's very nice. Using that job well. Okay. Nice little pull back there. Lovely body shot. Nice job. Pure concentration, is it, on that face of so switched on? Lovely down the middle. These are my kind of favorite things. Just straight shots down the middle, little step backs. I, lo I love all that, and uh, Collins is doing it really well. Two rounds in this fight between Brian Collins and Joe Hardy. You're listening to or watching, should I say, VIP Promotions card in association with Trinity Entertainment. We're here at the um, Grand Central Hall in Liverpool. Some people call it the Dome. You, 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 I suppose you know me, a lot of you, Steve Lillis, and you'll certainly know the fella who's sitting on my left, Sam Maxwell. I mean, I call him a Liverpool fighter, but he's actually from Heighton, so I don't know whether I'm in... When I said you Liverpool <laughs> fighters stick together, yeah. are, you, you know, are you a Liverpool fighter? I'm from because Prescott. You, you always had Heighton next to your name on Did top. I? Of, no, uh, I am not Heighton, I'm Prescott, me. But, um, yeah, they, I they might, was Heighton. No, Prescott, they might call me um, a woolly back. Woolly back? Yeah, right? from here. I thought you had to be as far as Runcorn to be a woolly back. <laughs> Listen, I do, but they, they don't. I mean, what I will say, despite your accent, we're claiming you as part of London as well. You were born in Hackney, Hackney and yeah. Chris Kempston of the Hackney Gazette used to write uh, about you still. He's a legend. He was a legend. 
always always claimed me as his own. Hackney is my own. Hackney's own. Claimed, yeah. Every time you had a great win and you fought Lomachenko, I said to you before, you're a Londoner. <laughs> always claimed me when I was doing well. Ah, oh, what a guy he was. Is Hackney Cassette still, go? still, still going? going yeah. Still going, yeah. Local papers, as you, they are diminishing, but the Hackney Gazette's oh, still brilliant. standing. There was nothing better than when you was a kid getting your name in the paper for for boxing. I absolutely loved it. And boxing news. Oh, he's boxing money. Yeah. This is good. If I was the best I've seen, Brian Box. Okay, so the first. This is the first time I'm probably probably watching him. Impressive. Things been switched on from the first bell because he had to be Joe let him know straight away yeah. he's got power so it just switched them on. Yeah, you picked up on that on round one that Joe was just looking for the big shots. This is Joe's 22nd fight, I think, this evening. Yeah. 28. I made my debut at 28. Yeah, yeah. Always said you, I know we're talking about you, I always said you a year or two earlier. 2014, Commonwealth Games, bronze medal, I should say I'm pro there. I was, I was one of the best in the world then. Just stayed there too long, a bit too long. Missed my peak. <laughs> you got to be prepared for it. Oh, long uppercut yeah, there. Long, yeah. Nice. Joe straight back at him, though. Nice. Joe had success with the uppercut a minute or so ago, but little doubt that Brian's won the round again. Yeah. He just, he's playing his range with, the, with, his, with his left, and uh, he can't miss with it. It's been really good today. You have days like that where you find your range of it and you just can't miss and everything's working. And he's, he's, he seems to be having that, that kind of day today. Joe Hardy still find, finding um, room to smile there in the corner, but the way they're talking, you don't know what they could be talking about these two. They could be talking about the, about anything the, the, the it could be, or something. It could be asking what the, the score is in the England game at the moment against Brazil that's going on, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Mark Lyson and then the referee, and another one of my favourites. Good referee, Mark. Really good referee. One of our busiest, I think, all over the world. I think is he WBC affiliated? Yeah, I see him uh, watching all the shows and I'm like, oh, there's Mark. Yeah, very nice man as well. Oh, great start with a one-two there, bang, straight down the middle. Uh, number four. Had to ship a couple there, but. Oh, he's, he's trying Cheeky to pull up, up a cut, yeah, again from again, Brian, yeah. from it's a nice Joe Hardy. You don't want to be getting caught with that. Joe a little bit marked, slightly marked under that right iron. 
test from that left hand you were referred to that's landed so well this evening. Yeah, he's tested a few of them. There, there it is again. <laughs> Joe Pope poking his tongue out of that and look at myself. Yeah, giving us a little wig there. <laughs> Joe coming off second best, but obviously enjoying every minute of it. Yeah, he's a tough man. He's very entertaining as well. Unless he's looking at you to entice you into a no, comeback no, in the no, no, Super thank World, you, thank you. If you want to come back at Super World, <laughs> and, uh, you want a journeyman in your first fight. No, I'm all right, you know. He's, he's post, yeah, his shots are nice today. They've been nice. I'm happy just watching today. I'm happy. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad. I'm just happy watching, honestly. My whole life, 25 years of boxing. But nope, no more. I don't know how they do it, these gentlemen. He, might, he could fight next week. Yeah, he will be. He will be. As I said, but when he got stopped by Ryan Amos, the anger in that dressing room, and it was a poor stoppage. Um, was there for all to see you know he was he had three payday i think it was three or four fights lined up before christmas and even, even yesterday i was speaking to his manager kevin marie yesterday afternoon they had a day before way and brom wanted a day before way and he worked yesterday morning come straight over weighed in and then just went to his hotel for the end of the night <laughs> Here we give me a little witness. <laughs> Standing up on the corner again, just chilling. Yeah, I've got nothing but respect for people like him. Tough, tough men. I think he might have a weekend off next week. I think there's only two or three shows in Britain next weekend, so he's likely to have Easter, have Easter, nice week Easter off. <laughs> <laughs> nice weekend off. I just don't get it. My debut box, Iber Riaz. And then he must have landed Iber maybe... Riaz, yeah. Yeah, he must have landed maybe 10 shots on against me. I'll, I'll tell you after this. It's going to be a good round, this. I think Colin, Collins is putting it together. It's nice. So who's that going to go? I'm not a good fight, entertaining fight this. We've got a few, two on today, two like this. Really good fights. It's the away fighters that make it a good fight. Yeah. Because he could just go on his bike and he's getting get paid and move, but he's not. He's, he's yeah. getting stuck in. He's having a fight. Well, we saw that in the first fight. Was it Nathan, Nathan yeah. Darby? He just wanted yeah. to get through the four rounds. Yeah. Whereas this Joe is coming to win. He wants to land some big shots. As you can tell, he's enjoying it in there as well. Yeah. Moving to the second half of round five now, one minute 20 left.
good, good fight this. Good landing fight for Collins. Yeah, but I was saying that against Ibar Riaz, uh, maybe he landed like 20 punches on me in the, in the four rounds, and I must have landed uh, hundreds on him. And the next day, I was like, oh, my head hurts, and my hands hurt, and I was feeling it. And then he, he was supposed to box the next week, and I thought, how do they do it, these people? I, I think Ibra, I remember rightly, just about, he got to 100 fights, I think, yeah. Ibra Riaz, and retired. Yeah. Might have gone just over it, but he, I'm sure he got... Did he, 100 fights. In, did, or did he get just that? He was certainly around 100 fights. And, I, and my, when I fought him, he maybe had 20. And by the time he retired, I had 15. Last round, last round for Joe. Joe all smiles. He's enjoyed it in there tonight. Mike Larson even leaves the applause. But thoroughly entertaining contest. Really good fight. Big shot by John. I was just about to big <laughs> <up> in <there. laughs> yeah. I was just about to big Collins up, saying, "Oh, he's doing his yeah. boxing really nice." And then Joe wings in that big right hand from the south pole position as well. But yeah, being impressed with Collins today. I like how he boxes. Yes, really good. For the most best best I've seen him. He said it had been his best can bested felt, and he's ju he's justified that in his performance tonight. Uh, clearly ahead, looks like he's well on his way to a dominant points win. But I don't think that can deter from the effort of Joe Hardy. He's yeah. been superb tonight himself in there. Mate, brought a great fight for us to watch. So we appreciate Joe. Tonight. He's had to make he's made he's made Collins work for it and take some big shots of his own. Helping Collins become a better fighter. Oof. He's feeling good. He's feeling good. He's in, he has enjoyed it in there, and he, he has. <laughs> Mike Mark will have a little, yeah, a little word of him there. He was he preparing a bolo there when he <laughs> last minute of the, of the fight? Just on the front foot there. Double, double, double punch. Head on, buddy. I, I, he's looking at you to tell <laughs> you what he can do. <laughs> Joe Hardy's looking at you, sir. I, I, I think you. I hope he's not calling me out. He's calling you out, mate. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> oh, big shot. I don't know what he's saying to you there, but he's... <laughs> well done. Brilliant fight, lads. Terrific fight, yeah. Brilliant fight. Yeah, Collins, I think, clear winner, but Joel, great performance. I'll be looking forward to any fight season in the future. Just not against me. Support a happy crowd this cheering. Dominant for the most, but a, a tough ending to the fight for Brian. Caught it just in front of us late on, wasn't it? Yeah. You caught. Took a few, which is a, which is good. Great experience.
Miles there, Brian Collins back to winning away, and what a relief that mu it must be for a boxer you, when you win after you've had a setback. Definitely, uh, back on back on track now. He'll, he'll be feeling very good, and um, spare money even more. He will want that run, rematch even more just to put, prove the prove the doubts wrong or get rid of any doubts in his head. Great performance there, great fight. I want to see many more of him, I think. Next up, what potentially could should be fight of the night, Ben Berman, Bahadur Karami. Real 50-50 fight. Bahadur Karami, an Iranian based in Manchester, Forget the record, he makes you fight and he wins. He, he does upset people on the road. Okay. What country is he from? He's an Iranian, but he's been here in Manchester. Really comes for a fight. You can tell by um, when how I make, good they are, by what they're wearing. He's got nice boots on. Yeah, he's a good one. When I, when I made the match, uh, Steve Walker's manager, promoter, manager of... Uh, Ben was very worried. Ben's trainer wanted the fight, wanted to see where he was. So uh, if it did go wrong tonight, I think Steve will be on to the trainer and myself. Uh, uh, <laughs> but it's the terrific fight, this. These are like the perfect kind of step up, I yeah. guess. Karami, this is the fight you need. You, Karami's the sort of man good fighters come through. Yeah, OK. So this is a test. A real test. Yeah. You come you through Karami, fights. you've got something about you. Yeah, you can move on. You can move on to the to the titles then. Central area, Central, English titles. But yeah. definitely, yeah. yeah. Is he um, an Olympian? I, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think. You know what? We, we tell the truth here. I don't know. I'll have a quick look at Google. Like that. It's only because of the tattoo I, I on think, his back. I think there's four rings there, isn't it? Is it five? Uh, no, I think there was a, there's a yellow one which you can't see.
half a minute in, looks like it's going to be a good, good fight. Yeah, some big shots being let off already. Oof. Jabs are working lovely for him. Ben Wade 11, I think it was 11 11. Karami 11 13, the, the, the limit the match was made at. Good uppercut there from Ben. The nickname the Freedom Fighter, Karami. I think the announcer just said the Freedom Fighter. Some, some nickname though. Trying that up a couple of few times, Ben. Some nice, quite quick shots. for Ben is even to drop down and weigh even less next time I think he can do middleweight comfortably he's a, he's a big lad excellent three opening three minutes to that contest very enjoyable we're in for another good fight here how did you see the, the opening round? Yeah, good. that's a ban. I think his, his punches were very sharp, nice, but um, yeah, good work as well from Karimi, but Karam, but nice work from Ben. Jabs are lovely. Threw the uppercut a few times, but was just missing, just coming up short with it. We'll see if he can um, make an adjustments to land that. What a good man he is. <laughs> I go back with Paul quite a, well, not as long as you, obviously, but uh, known him from his professional days. Um, good pro flyaway, good amateur, good coach, amateur and pro. Decent fella. And uh, I remember we both done the Liverpool half marathon the same year as each other. I forget what year it was. Yeah, I don't think you could do that now. <laughs> is that a challenge to him? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good runner, Steve, aren't you? Oh, uh, not, not what it was a couple of years ago. Both of them landed some big shots then. Yeah. Nice from Ben. Uppercut landed and the right hook. Oh, crap. Straight back at him. Wow, it's a fight, this. Say, Karami's always in the away corner. He's not a journeyman, though, is he? No, he's a fighter. You see this type more in America, the fighters? They're not the, genuine. The guys yeah. on the club shows. Yeah. And, yeah. They don't get in America the concept of the journey as a hundred fights. They do think you're, we give them the utmost respect. They think they are human punch bags, whereas mm. we give them the respect they do deserve. Yeah. I don't mean he looks like one of those fighters, Karami. You wouldn't look out the place at the Blue Horizon or somewhere no. in Philadelphia. Yeah, he's a cool looking kid. Yeah. 
looks the part, doesn't he? The tattoos yeah. are the part. The, the, the boots, the shorts. It's the gear you love, isn't it? As yeah. much as he <laughs> you is, know he's it? a good fighter. You know he's a good fighter when he spends money on good boots. Oh. It's a great test, great test this. His coach had belief in him to take this fight in. A lot of belief, Sean yeah. Trodden. A lot yeah. of belief. Both landing nice jabs there. Good way. Good body shot. Again with a body shot, lovely shot. Last half a minute of round two. I think it is proven it's going to be the final night. This absolute belter, quality fight. We just starting. This is good. Ben's round again. Yeah, great fight this though. Really enjoying it. He landed some lovely body shot, left hook to the body there. Right, like this last round, like the second round finished. Third round starts right back there. Trading lever. That body shot's lovely. Coming. We're even getting stuck in. Karami coming right back now. Just missing. Lovely shots down the middle. Oof. You get the impression Karami likes taking punishment. Takes an uppercut to the right hand, just pokes his tongue out, doesn't he? He's a character, mate. He's a tough man. Did you fight anybody like this? Or whatever who come in just trying to take your head off, or whatever you did just wouldn't budge? No, thankfully. Didn't have no one like him. He looks like he carries a dig as well. Burnham doing the right thing though when he is caught going on the. Yeah, look at him told this round, using his feet. Using more. his foot and then flicking out the jab. Yeah. Four or five of them body shots. Yeah. Then hopefully they'll pay off for him and later on in the fight. Six rounds. Final minute of round three. I tell you, you get the impression someone like Karami, even when he spars, I bet he's like this. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Yeah. Pure entertainment. <laughs> looking at me, looking at the crowd, playing up for the crowd is.
great round again. And look at each other at the end of the round, yeah. both trying to have the final say. Quality. This is what it's about, this six rounder. Imagine it's number 12 or something. Would, could they go 12? This no. is some pace. No. <laughs> Been lucky today because only a few fights on, but every fight's been an absolute storm so far. Really happy with it. He's the same coach as um, Joe, is he? Same coach as Joe. Yeah. No, oh, um, yeah. he's actually coaches Bahador. Joe, Joe, he looks after Joe tonight. It's Dow Arrowsmith's brother. Okay. Um, the, um, Dow Arrowsmith man manages Karami. Uh, Dal can be here tonight because he's got, a, he's got a fight somewhere far. I don't know what fight number it is tonight. A hundred and something or other. Karami came straight out there with backhand left hook. Just making it a fight. That's it, Ben's trying to keep it long, trying to move, hit and move to start the round. Nice jumps from them. That's it. He's got to look to do it from there, from the centre of the ring, rather than on the ropes. Nice uppercut there from him. Good job, both from both of them. Both exchanging in it. Quality. Big shots from Karami. Ooh, big shots. But Ben's still there firing back himself. Just got to get off the ropes. Oh, big shots. Ben straight back and I'm going to finish yeah. with that body shot again. He lands that left to the body very well, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got about seven of them, seven or eight of them this, this fight so far. They'll pay off. Well, you'd like to think. A lot to like about both of these in this contest, isn't it? Yeah, put on a great fight for us, great show. Both trying to hate each other as well. A bit of meanness in there, I like that. Nice shot, nice, two nice shots there from the play. Great finish to the round again. Oh. Bold trade. What a round this is, eh? Bold trade to finish. Would it be fair to give Karami that round? Yeah, I'm going to give him that. Wow, what a fight. Ben going into unknown territory now, round five, his first six rounder this is.
so there's a lot of shows in Britain, in Britain tonight and this week. You see a better first four rounds in a fight anywhere than this. You've been very lucky. Two rounds to go. Two ben rounds to go. Well, enters, ben Burnham enters round five for the first time in his professional career. Oh, is he? Yep. This is a this is a tough fight to enter that. Bit wild there. Yeah, grab with a head. Nothing deliberate about it. I just no. think it's the way he swings in and fall, falls towards Ben. Yeah, I was just about to say it's been a mean fight. They want to hurt each other, but it's been also been very clean. Um, Steve Gray not had a lot to do. No. See why Karami wins fights on the road, can't you? Yeah. I've just seen as well, and they've been stopped, so he, he's, he's, he's got a tough chin on him. Nice work. <laughs> Karami's not bumped. Oh, Murray's right back. This is a fight, this. Just missing the two there. And just letting him push him onto the ropes, which he shouldn't do. Nice body shot, though. Anyway. He's working nice off the ropes, to be honest. Good uppercut, man. Just stand there, maybe a little bit too long. Like he's feeling the pace a little bit as the end of this round. Nice finish. Nice to have that round, Sam. Very close, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, another close one. Looked like uh, Ben was just feeling the pace by the end of the round as well. Maybe with this last round in mind. Maybe need, need, needs to win this last round to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's do this. Was saving a bit with with that with that round in mind as well. Just backing himself up to the ropes a bit unnecessarily. Fighting nice off the ropes, but just yeah. just waiting there a bit too long. Karami was able to get his shots off then, big shots. Which you do, which you don't want. Fights in a very good spirit, Karami, doesn't he? Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. <laughs> good start to the round once again. On both for the lads. Go on, nice shots from Ben. Good jabs. Keep it long. Get the round off the jab and it should be enough, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, hey, on you though, he's on you, he keeps coming. That's a good job, Ben. This is better, take that middle, that's it.
good top first for your first six round of this. Good top fight. And won't get much harder than this. He's grinding it out, Ben Burnham, as yeah. well, isn't he? Yeah. He's biting on his gum shield and planted his feet. And Which is good to know about yourself and good to know about your fighter that they've got that in them. And he's needed to here. There's nothing wrong with his desire, heart, shin at all, is there? No. Ben. Good fight. <laughs> We've been so lucky tonight. What a fight. They called this from the start, then they just gonna could be fight of the night and it's turned out the ten in this way. Great fight. Ben, let this hands go. ben may have just edged this last round. Yeah. Good work great right from him, good good amount of shots going in. Fantastic six rounds. Good show of respect between the fighters as well. They both know they've been in a great fight there. I'm guessing they both think they've done enough to... Yeah, it looks like the reactions at the end. Karam feels like he's done enough. I think Ben's done enough. Yeah. On that la just that last round sealed it. We'll see. Yeah, just edge there. Great fight. Great fight. Learned so much from that. And then shown, shown a lot to himself and his coaches there about himself. So. Let's see how Steve had it. And Matt, what were you finished? Great matchmaking for that. Bah Bahadur's not happy with the decision, but I'm not. What an effort from him, but I still I think Ben did enough. Yeah, just did, did, did enough. Honestly, it was a great fight. If he could, if he said, when he said 58, I thought he was going to give it a draw here. And it wouldn't have been disappointing with that because it was, it was a great fight. But I'm glad Ben gets the win there. And then, um, yeah, moves on. He's a bit disheartened. He looks devastated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's quite an emotional person. He yeah. got cut in his last fight. A um, draw with Wizard Levicki. And he got 28 days. And oh. Darius was telling me it was three fights. And he was crying in the dressing room afterwards. He's ob He looks quite an emotional kid in there. Yeah. He, he's come to win. He wants to win. That's brilliant to see that. He'll get wins. Don't worry about yeah. that. Good guy, like the book. Yeah, happy for Ben. Learns a lot there on a win, and um, got to show a lot about himself. Great, great fight for him. Not going in there, just turning over a journeyman. He's, he's had to dig right into the to show exactly what he's got. Two fights left. Next fight up: Nathan Corliss against Perry Howe. Six round cruiserweight contest. What a show so far. What a team fight.
Here we go. Perry Howe against Nathan Corliss. Perry developing nicely into the journeyman role. Loves life on the road. Started off as a prospect. Decided he wanted to shut that in and go on the road. And doing pretty well for himself and earning pretty well. He brings us a pressure of the goal of five victories and one draw in the 17th contest. From Sheffield, Perry, the promise, out! And the course of the Boston Red Boxing Colony of the Blue Line, the rest of the night, the Green Shorts, the Pistol Red Boxing Stone, the St. Parts of the East Ashley. He brings us a pressure of the goal of seven victories, one defeat, the Council of the Season. Corliss only a pound heavier at the weigh-in today, but uh, looks a lot naturally bigger than Perry Howe. I've seen Perry Hull out before. Yeah, we, we was in the home court, decided to go on the road and uh, adapt into that role, shall we say, very well. OK. Knows what it takes to fiddle for his way through fights. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, which is a big skill, the hard skill. Corliss looking for a big performance tonight, he was telling me before. You must know him well from the Solly days. Solly, yeah, he's been trained with him for years. And um, he's a talented operator. But um, yeah, this is his first album since his uh, English title loss to Vidal Riley, Vidal was it? Vidal Riley, yeah. When was that? November. September, sorry, September. We're off camera here, but it just shows what a sport this is. To our right there, there's Serge Ambomo and Connor Gordig, and Serge is going through things that Connor was doing in that fight and what he can do to improve. You can oh, see them over yeah, there. See them talking there. He was just shadow boxing a moment ago, telling them one oh, or two that's things. That's unreal, that you know. Just been bashing the life out of each other. Yeah. <laughs> Six rounds, and then now he's giving them advice. Quality. Only three minutes in, almost three minutes in, you can see what I think I've said about Perry. He knows how to way to fiddle round the ring, get through rounds. Yeah. Just keeping them, keeping the opponent just wary enough to not commit without having to do anything. Do you mean? See, it's a clever skill.
Nelson, né? Nelson na ure. Proud of me. In my commentary. With the, with the legend that is Steve Lewis. Uh, Nelson over there. Uh, building a, a, a nice little stable of fighters. And a, I'm guessing you'll be training. Mark will be training a few for him years to ah, come. That would be, be exciting. It would, yeah. That's an option. Nathan comes out and throws anymore because that's one thing about Nathan is his defense was lovely his feet are nice he's making the, he's making a hot hole miss but then he's not getting off his own shots yeah. so I think that's what he needs to do that's the next step now he just said that none because um, Hull's got uh, moving and, and not being there but you've got to try body shots I think then body shots are gonna pay off later on as well trying to slow hold down shot from Nathan there straight down the middle counter right hand and landed right on the chin nightmare to fight again is it though Perry how mm. it's hard to pin down but Nathan's doing well he's pinning down with a jab he's backing him up onto the ropes and then he's letting that right hand go mixing up head and body good jab from both of them there. Oh, good right hand from Nathan. Good little lean to the side, off the line. Fired it over. Balance, but you've got to give that. It was a knockdown, yeah. Yeah. Completely off balance. But yeah. It's corner. Nathan's corner's already in. Does Metcalf um, train with Perry Howe? Just smiles at him as he comes back. Yeah. He wasn't there at all, but it, you, all. Yeah. Perry's still arguing the knockdown as he would. <laughs> You've got to give them, I think, here. Someone, it is a little bit on the back of the head as well, but you've got to give them, if you take the punch, it's a knockdown. But Nathan has been landing some nice right hands that round, landed two or three, and it gets the knockdown with that, with that one. in the third round. Oh, 
good shots from both of them. Good body shot from Holber then. Nathan came out with the left hook then to the head. Looking for that, he's looking for that right hand. Keeps falling short. Just missed again there with it. Nathan finding it hard to connect Lee yeah, with it. Yeah, trying to hard to pin him down. So elusive he is. Making a miss, making a miss. But there's a good jab. Let's see, you've got to get that jab off. Good at what he does, he is. Good at what he does, just baits the attack and then he's out of there, he spins out of there. And Nathan's going to set him up now. I don't think I've ever seen anyone truly look good against Perry, just the way he... The way he'd be hard to, yeah, he's hard to look good against. He's very elusive. He looks in range, but he's slightly out of range. You've got to be on it. You've got to be sharp, very sharp to, to try and catch him. But I feel like Nathan's just doing enough, like just controlling the fight, boxing well, and um, yeah, just edging, 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 yeah, winning each round. But not without causing too much damage to, to Howells. His shoulder again, there, Nathan. He's um, oh no, he, he's hanging, it looked like he was hanging down a little bit lower then. His right hand, yeah. yeah. He has had a, quite a few injury problems, hasn't he? And yeah. He's... I, was, I was feeling good. He's frustrating, isn't he, to fight Perry, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> 
Yeah, man, I'll be thinking, oh, I want to get him, I've got to get him. And he, then that, that's what he wants you to be like, get you frustrated, you're not going to land on him then. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's have a look. Nathan ain't throwing that right hand at all, you know. It's not through he once. He picked up on that earlier yeah. in the, the fourth round. He's not picked up, not through once since we've seen it. Seen and it was a it. shoulder he had the problem with before, wasn't it? I don't know if it's a bicep. It was bicep. bicep was yeah, it was his bicep. But he's not thrown it at all. Maybe we'll get some clue when he goes back to the Yeah, you can see, corner. you know, look at the bicep. It's gone up a bit. Just looks looks a bit looks a bit mad on his right arm. Man. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Hope not. He's just not thrown it, has he? No. Well, you picked up on it earlier in the round, and it's a shame if it is. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's not thrown it. No, he yeah, didn't, he didn't even want to catch it. Yeah. Back then, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I can see it. it's gone right up. It has. There's right the right yeah, bicep. Yeah. yeah. That's a shame. See if it gives any indication to, to Tommy his in the corner. corner. Yeah. He's dead. Wally and Tommy. Yep, and he's looking down at oh. the So frustrating for him. Yeah. Now another journeyman standing up. Taking a the victory off these, these journeymen standing up. Gonna know when his head now, nothing's coming back with the right hand. He's gonna feel he's looking, he's starting to unleash his own shots now. Happy to trade yeah. him now. I just hope the injury isn't something he's, he's had, you know, I think a couple fights a year he's been on average, hasn't he? Yeah. Last is about 20, 20. I think he was about out about four months with it last yeah. time when he got surgery on it, so. See they're pulling away there from You've so. seen him. Um, who was that? Danny Williams. Danny Williams, I was there. Was against, you? Yeah, wow. against Mark Potter. It wow, was one what of the, a fight. Oh, it was the same night Hatton and Faxton fought. It was what the, a fight that yeah, was as was, well. There was another fight as well that night. It was one of the bloodiest nights ever uh, I've ever seen in British boxing. And that Danny Williams fight that night, absolutely. Um, wow. No, no boxer has to go to where he went that night, but no. boxers do. No athlete has to. He needs one of them. He needs to pull out on a bag. That, that was unreal. Was that Faxton Hatton as well? That was. Faxton I remember watching Hatton that as a kid. Were, I think it was wow. Faxton Hatton on that. But was it right? What a fight!
Yeah, Danny Hatton faxed and Jason Rowland, Victor Baranoff was another. And then Danny Williams that TK over Mark Butler. I think it was in the sixth round. Look at that October shit. 2000. Wow. I remember being what, where I was when I was watching that. That was my first time seeing Hatton. Really? Yeah, my first Hatton years. fight yeah, that I seen. I was a fan straight away. You say Hal's done a lot better this round. He's not. He's not worried about what's coming back now. No, he knows all that's going to come back is the jab. jab. He, look, he looks down at that. Damaged bicep again, and already most probably going through his mind is how serious this is. This injury. Am I out again? Yeah, and you're thinking how how me carrying on is it going to injure any more? But you don't want to pull out. That's right. We're in the final round there. Daz Metcalf's obviously telling Periel just to go for it. Yeah. Uh. looking to go for it in the final yeah, he's, round here. He's, he's, yeah, he's got no respect now. He won't mind many lights like this. Good body shot there for him. Jeez. Nathan just hang on in there. One-handed in or virtual for the second half of this fight. Yeah. Nathan was, be a relief man, it's not an eight rounder, won't he? Definitely a true, yeah, didn't think of that, yeah, definitely. I was saying in the first two rounds, like Nathan's right hand is really nice, he's varying up, mixing it to head and body. The shame that is Nathan really wanted to make a statement this evening. Yeah. yeah. Like you say though, you're glad it's in this in this fight or not in the in a in a bigger bigger occasion. If he's just done enough to hang on without. I think he won the first three. He's doing well here on this last, finishing strong. Nathan's dad, Wally, just in front of us, they're urging him on to... It's hard though, isn't it? Like, of course it is, yeah. You can't just come forward with, with a jab. Not against someone like, oh, he'll make you miss and he'll make you pay. The way fighters have been entertaining today, yeah. all of them. Say Nathan just come to do the rounds, but yeah, the rest of them all giving it a go. Yeah. Well, they've done their best anyway. And yeah. Obviously, Karami, I think, was exceptional, and Sir Jambomo. Yeah. You say Perry's seen that injury, and he's been a lot more on the offensive than I've seen him in recent fights. Yeah. Looking down at that bicep yeah, again, he knows game, it. He? Real shame.
50-55. Uh, no doubt that Nathan won the fight, but 60-55. Yeah. Um, harsh, harsh on the efforts of Perry Howe. I feel, I feel like, yeah. I feel like that's how it was going if um, he had both his hands, but then I think um, he, Perry did well in the last, in the last two last rounds. Yeah. yeah. Which was understandable because Nathan can keep him off. Oh, he's got to the ears. Posing for the photos, but Nathan don't look too bothered no. about the photos tonight. No. One more fight to go, the Central Area Super, sorry, Central Area Bantamweight title, 10 three-minute rounds, Jake Harrison making the first defence against Logan Richardson, uh, Jake a, a huge favourite in this fight, uh, Logan nothing to lose, no pressure on him, he'll come and give it a go. I like this Jake Harrison, seen him a few times, really like him. not seen much of this Logan Richardson so uh, yeah, we're interested to see what he offers today yeah, he's unbeaten I mean he's real four and zero uh, it's a fight you'd you, you know it's understandable Jake's an overwhelming favourite yeah
No, it's been it's been a good show though. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, one more fight left at the 10 round. It should be at any moment now. Looks like all the officials are getting ready. They're getting ready out. Yeah. Referee Stephen Reed's in a hurry. He's been looking over that, that top road. I mean, he's about six foot seven anyway, but <laughs> he's been looking over that top road, um, that top road, wondering where they are, where the main of there. We are a little bit ahead of the time. They weren't due to start till around another 10 minutes. But okay. Hopefully, we'll get them in a bit quicker. We got to, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Logan sold well, quite a fair old journey from home yeah. to Liverpool. They dream believer, the monkeys as well. Tune. I bet you sang this on the karaoke a bit. <laughs> I can't True sing. True or false? Uh, I can't sing. Jake Harrison, I'm beating in eight.
but there's no fear in Logan Richardson straight across the ring there. He's a rock for it, man. He's yeah, got a course. good crowd in as well. Jack Harrison won the title in this ring a few months ago, beating Jack Dwyer in three rounds, stopping him just in front of where you're sat tonight. John that rope. Yeah, I rate Jake highly, but um, <laughs> like in the look of uh, Logan, he's looking very confident. So let's see what he can offer. Always that battle of the outside, getting the outside foot. It was so poor orthodox, isn't it? Yeah. Logan's trying not trying his way because way up there. Sharp looking boxer, isn't he? Yeah, um, Jake he's Harrison. Slow. Yeah, Jake's very sharp, yeah. Very sharp. But then Logan's using his height for his advantage, he's getting leaving lower, he's making a miss, it's nice. Nice shots. Oh, good shots. Okay, he's under that a few times already. I know Logan had, did have a lot of problems um, finding decent southpaw sparring. Yeah, it's, it's always tough. I think he travelled to the VIP gym and Mark Leach did a few rounds with him. Oh, wow, that, that's good. Yeah, that's good sparring. He's loading in some shots over the top. He's landed a few. Good first round. Mm, Not, maybe edging toward Richardson. Yeah, well, Richardson won yeah, the first. Yeah. The Gresham won him the first round, I think. Fearless, yeah. fearless little battler, isn't he? Yeah. He was winging in some big shots over the top as well. With a few of them landed. Very good shots.
gets some shots goal. A nice body shot there for him. Back there, a few hooks though. He's, he's Game as they come, isn't yeah, he? Logan Richardson, in this. second best in this round, but uh, plenty of fight in him, isn't it? Yeah. Good bodies. Round, um, sort of a slow start to the, to, to the fight for Jake in the opening round, but little doubt he won the second round. Digging those body shots in. Uh, Lovely body shots. A few nice uppercuts as well, but um, Logan, so much fighting him. He's ready to fire back every time. I mean, for someone who's only had four, found, four, four uh, not even a handful of four rounders, Four of them at all, he's doing pretty well, isn't he? Yeah, it shows the confidence he's got in himself. Because at four fights, you might not take a fight like this, and he has, and then that shows that he's showing his character. He, he, he believes in himself in his game. Both of them throwing bombs. Logan pressing the pace, trying to, he's forcing the work. Jake's matching him. Great fighters, great start. Another good fight, isn't it? And we've been lucky today. We've, we've had some stormers. Save the best to last. He's above going for it.
Well, Logan Richards is meeting with everything, isn't he? He's making a fight. And he, he's making Jake fight, isn't he? Yeah. I go. I'll tell you something, you'd be amazed if this goes 10 rounds, won't you? No chance. Great round of boxing. Or fighting, should I? <laughs> yeah. Out of that round. Both of them landed big shots. In the round, what, round three? That was round three. There's three rounds in. Uh, uh. Yeah, Logan's bringing the fight out of Jake as well. He's having to stand there and trade, like you said before. They're brilliant. Fights I've seen Jake in, he's been stronger than everyone, faster than everyone, but this this lad's matching him here. Listen, man, the only thing that worries me, this, this guy, you know, well, Jay's the most experienced. This guy has only had four four rounders against, you know, journeymen, you know. He... Yeah. Let's see if he can, we know Jake can last, but we'll have to see if with Logan can. So whatever any outcome tonight, this Logan Richards is going to be in some fun fights, isn't he, in his, during his career? Every punch he throws, 100%. He's going for the knockout with every punch. Well, so you don't want to talk during it, you don't want to take your eyes off it. I don't think I spoke to anyone who thought Jake Harris would have a night as tough as this. When I was looking on the paper for an hour for Jake's gone far too much for this kid, but Logan is. Tyson shorts on, he's, yeah. moving, he's moving like Mike Tyson. He crouches down and looks Yeah, comes up with it. Oh, good shot. Oh my gosh! Right hand, right hand. 
just as Jake landed. Oh my gosh. The bell might just save him here. He might just be saved by the bell. Wow. What a sensation. Oh my gosh. Incredible. That's what makes this sport so wonderful that the underdog comes in and does that to someone who's been, who's been groomed for far bigger things. Wow. Wow. And Jake done well to get off that. That was a heavy shot. Is that the first time Jake's been down? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is most probably tonight the first time he's lost rounds. Wow. And it's the first time he's faced adversity. This corner have done it. We've tried to wake him up there in the corner. Make sure he's ready to go. Well, we all... We, there's no science to what Logan Richards is going to attempt to do in this <laughs> round. Confident lad, and it's, it's proved. The confidence is incredible. We saw that when he got in the ring. Straight away, yeah. Oh my god! Oh wow! That is sensational. Oh my god. But I think there's someone who's the calm in down. If Ivory's trainer's calming him down. That what was a sensational man. performance. That was big. He is a confident lad. I've judged the doctors in with Jake now. Give him the he, oxygen. Yeah. Just probably just precautionary. Certainly not the ending we expected, and even more so one we, we didn't want to see for you don't want to see for any fighter. No. He's up, he's getting to his feet. Yeah. You'll be feeling a lot of just disappointment in himself as well. I've been in this position, Jake Bow. Do you mean you feel you feel you feel I can see on your face you, you must feel for yeah. a fight. It's easy for me as a journalist and now I'm at Frank to say these things. Because when people like a journalist says they know what it feels like. You don't because you've never been a boxer. I can see how you're looking yeah. and you're speaking about it. It I must bring exactly back the emotions feel, when you've yeah, been, yeah. what you were going through. Yeah. But he's, he's a young lad, Jake. He'll be back from this. But wow, Logan, welcome, welcome to the scene. Um, what an addition to the bantamweight scene. He is, like you've said before this as well, you said he's going to be in some stormers, win or lose, and um, he is. Being given some option as a precaution, yeah, but, but luckily yeah. he's, he's, he, he seems he's fine. fine. Yeah. Just as we're shaking his little, for yeah, the corner, he's just yeah. devastated in himself. He is. It's boxing, though. Like this, that did happen. You just, you'll come back. And 
that was wary of a title fight that straight from from right from the first second we could see these lads are good You can see why he brought up so many people from Holland. Yeah. Well, that concludes our broadcast for this evening. Logan Richardson, the new Central Area Bantamweight champion, and huge upset defeating previously undefeated Jake Harrison who we were talking about with British titles in the near future but that's what boxing is it's the emotion good luck to the new champion he's going to be in some great fights final word with you Sam before we go yeah great day of boxing all the whole card enjoyed every fight and um, finished with a bang there and um, yeah really enjoyed it that wraps our broadcast for the evening. Sam Maxwell, thanks very much. All the best for the coaching at Solly, and we'll see you back here soon in the VIP hot seat. Thanks, Steve. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching, listening, and we'll see you when we're back in Liverpool on April 27. Good night.